and action. First time uh, in the Total War series that we've taken the battles to the high seas. We've added naval battles on the campaign map. We've uh, really extended the game outside of Europe, across the world. So it's a much larger scope game than we've, than we've ever made before. What we'll be doing today is just literally capturing the animations. Then once we're happy, we'll sign all the animations off and the animators will start working on these. The motion capture that we're doing today, the majority of it relates to specifically dueling. That will be seen in the game in terms of the, the dueling movie, so you'll see the duel played out, which is strictly a sort of one-to-one -one affair between those two characters. What's quite focusing on now is actually matched animation, so you take a pair of soldiers and actually capture those movements at the same time, and it creates a much more realistic, visceral kind of combat that, that you can see on the battlefield. The key thing with this series is actually the interaction with other characters. What we're doing is actually capturing two people, which we've never done really in Total War. So when someone actually tries to strike, the other person reacts. Being able to do motion capture allows us to do, I would say, a larger volume of work. And obviously the results are far more realistic, and you get much more complex complex movement in the characters because it's real people creating the animation. We want to make sure that the fighting is authentically 18th century. We put a lot of effort into researching how these kind of fights played out and the use of the particular weapons that the different soldiers had. We kind of reference a lot of films and one of the series we've referenced on the shark is really great to see, you know, just the historical accuracy and what they look like. It also gives us a backdrop as animators to really give the feel of the time, which is really important. We're starting to use professional stuntmen to do the animation and actually that makes a big difference. With motion capture, the camera never lies. So if you don't use professional people, you don't get professional quality. So if someone is hesitating or not too sure what they should be doing, the camera completely reads that. And even though we're kind of trying to be historic efforts, at the end of the day we are making entertainment product. So we need to really sell these moves, especially when it comes to combat. We try to really up the animation so they're not just historic efforts, but it's entertaining to watch.